Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a super amazing day going on. Now, guys, we are back with another episode of All About Physics, and today we are all talking about that amazing thing that is the energy. Right? That is what we'll be talking about right today, guys. We'll be learning a lot of amazing things. And if you guys are new here, a very warm welcome to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vedantu. And if you are new to Vedantu Young Wonders, what are you waiting for? Hit on that subscribe button right away, like right now. Okay? So, yes, there is also going to be a week quiz. So, make sure that you check the description. There is definitely a week quiz over there. Once I finish this class, go ahead and take up that quiz. And once you take up that quiz, you will know how much you have learned in today's class and i'll also be checking who is on the top and who has got the top scores in the quizzes so make sure that you guys attempt the quiz and let me know the scores in the comment section okay now talking about the previous class guys the previous class was all about heat transfer you guys have all done amazingly well in the homework guys because the homework question was you know amazing and congratulations to all of the homework rockets now since I, i'm not live right now but anyway i have liked all of your comments in the comment section of the previous class you can go and check wonderful amazing guys all right now today's learning outcomes is going to be what is energy so we'll be learning what exactly is energy we'll also be trying to get the examples and different types of energy too Okay, now if you guys are on Instagram, do not forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is learn underscore with underscore Mohan. Okay, you can follow me there to get more updates, to see what all classes I'm planning for, to interact with me, lot of things. So if you have Instagram, follow me. Now, before we go forward, guys, there is also one more exciting thing which I want to tell you. That is about Vedantu's Teachers Day celebration, guys, wherein if you check out the Vedantu Young Wonders ka community page, you will be finding a link for a form click on this link for the form and this is a very cool way to wish us uh, you know uh, to wish all of us in Vedantu Young Wonders a happy teachers day also you can do something naughty what is it that is you can take your weirdest assumption about us if you click on that link you'll be taken to this web page I mean this uh, google form and here just write your email id your uh, name and whom do you want to wish Amit sir, Hinipriya ma'am, Mohan sir, Namavita ma'am, Pratesh sir, Sana ma'am, anybody you want to wish, click on them and then anything, ask anything to your favorite master teacher, type it here and your assumption, it can be any fun assumption, okay, whatever comes to your mind, <laughs> any assumption, example, I feel like the longest time Namavita ma'am would have gone without Shah is three weeks, she doesn't bath, so you can, it can be any of the assumption and also wish us Happy Teacher's Day. If you guys feel like to wish us, you can wish us here. Also, if it's an image or a video you want to attach, do attach it. Okay. So make sure you guys do it, guys, because you only have very less time. So do it right now when you're, when you're watching this. Okay. Now let's go back, guys. Let's talk about energy right away. So first one, energy is nothing but it is the ability to do work or to heat objects. Whenever we need to do something, guys, for example, if I have to take this session right now, I need energy, right? When you have, if you want, if you guys want to sit and listen to me, you need energy. So energy is basically the ability to do work or to heat the objects. Now, energy may exist in potential, in kinetic, thermal, electrical, chemical, nuclear, or various other forms. It can be in any of these forms. See how many forms of energy are there. There are even more. You have your, pot your potential energy, kinetic energy, thermal, electrical, chemical, nuclear or various other forms also. Okay. Look at this. Thermal energy, radiant energy, light energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy, electrical energy, gravitational energy, mechanical energy. So many types of energy. Right. By looking at this, we all should get enough energy. <laughs> Right, guys. Now, when we specifically talk about mechanical energy, we have two types, which we have already discussed specifically in our All About Physics episode, when we learned about what exactly is kinetic energy and what exactly is potential energy. That we have tried to understand in that episode itself. Because in there we understood that energy possessed by an object because of its motion, it is called as kinetic energy. And energy possessed by an object because of its position, it is potential energy. For example, 
if I'm holding this here, it now has potential energy because of its position. If I drop it, it gains kinetic energy and falls down. So potential energy becomes into kinetic energy. Look at this. Now that the person is over the slope, he has a lot of potential energy. When he starts coming down, he gains kinetic energy because the energy in motion is basically kinetic energy. Right? Very good. Look at this. A person climbing up the hill, energy in, the kinetic energy becomes into potential because of its position. Again, when he comes out, it is kinetic energy only. Okay? Simple. Now, the three types of potential energy, we have gravitational. So energy potential that comes from an object's height and weight because of its position. Okay. Next is chemical. Energy potential comes from its atoms that is contained in it and the chemical reaction that takes place in the object. That is chemical potential energy. We have elastic potential energy. Now we have energy, uh, you know, a potential of an object being compressed or stretched. Elastic can also be spring potential, where a spring is compressed, right? There is a potential energy there. If you release it, it becomes into kinetic energy, spring potential, okay, or elastic potential. Got it. Now look at this. The same thing is happening here. Conversion of kinetic energy into potential and potential into kinetic again. Cool. So there is also a law of conservation of energy, guys. What does this mean? So law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be transferred from one form to another. So you can never create an energy. You can never destroy an energy. It's just converted from one form to another. So the total energy before and after the transformation will remain constant only. You can neither create it nor destroy it. It can only transform, for, transform from one uh, to different one. Got it? Simple as that. So, and the SI unit of energy is basically Joule, guys. So, all of this is what we have discussed in terms of energy. Okay, and your homework question for today is going to be, water stored in the dam contains what energy? So let me know in the comment sections right away, guys, after this session. And also do not forget to uh, you know, attempt the week quiz that is right in the description to check how much knowledge you guys have gained after this class. And yes, do not forget to hit on that subscribe button, share, like and comment. I know it was a very short class, but don't you worry because make sure that you guys fill up this form for an amazing uh, you know, Teacher's Day celebration that is going to happen live this coming Monday. Okay, so I'll see you guys all in the next class, guys. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe. Stay as lovely as always, you guys. Bye-bye.